Hi guys, I'm Steve, and this is my beautiful fiance, Maria. And we've just purchased this, our dream fixer upper home in Johannesburg. So exciting. We looked at many places, some newer ones, some older ones, before we found this gem. And luckily, Steve flips houses for a living. <laughs> and I've been waiting for the day that I can renovate my own home. So this was a deceased estate. It was an old couple that passed away. And as much as the family wanted to keep the house, they didn't have a use for it and decided that it's time for a new family to take over here. And that's our plan. We're getting married in under a month and we can't wait for this to be our forever home. In our beautiful country, South Africa. Now we're embarking on a full scale renovation and modernization to make this our dream home. And we want to take you guys along on this journey with us. This is episode one of a series of episodes and we've got some really cool partners on board. This, this is Project V, and you're watching a flipping Johannesburg renovation. Let's start the tour at the entrance where you can see behind us the front of the house. There's a lot of work to do. It's really old, but there's great features. The parking space is amazing and there's two gates. So you can enter at this gate and you can drive out and exit that side. And that's quite palatial, so I definitely think it's going to stay. Two double garages. And a lovely carport for you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> and have a look at this rough textured plaster finish on the walls. And a nice dusty rose pink. I don't know what it is about this pink. I can think of three of my most recent projects that had the shade of pink on the walls. Must have been a fashion statement back in the days. Must have been. But let's head on to the point of contention. This big pine tree in the middle of the driveway. And the thing is, it is magnificent, but it's so huge. And these roots are just gonna keep pushing up the paving. So it just doesn't work here, unfortunately. But we will have a grand entrance, definitely. And I picture a symmetrical pathway in the middle here, landscaped with some pots leading down what do you think let's do it heading to the front door it would be awesome to keep this feature stone wall in some way but these burglar bars are going that's for sure and over here it would be nice to create a bit of a double door entrance i agree that would complete the grand entrance design the scroll did you see this what is that so it's called a mezuzah and it's jewish tradition so what you do is you touch it when you enter and exit the house so pretty amazing it's definitely a blessed home okay so i'll do that every time we come in and out. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> this is Project V. Welcome to the 70s. Yeah, it's very outdated. If you look at these brown mustardy tiles. Yeah, it's closed off and... We've inherited some nice things from the previous owners. Yeah, some nice vintage pieces. As well as the 70s curtain over here. Oh wow, look at that. <laughs> Look at this. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, that's pretty excessive. Have you seen that before? No, I think uh, they were very security conscious. Absolutely, obviously. I mean, that's overkill. <laughs> Definitely. And what is this? I don't know. It like, looks like a car radio alarm, actually. I must have wired it for additional security, just in case there wasn't enough. <laughs> <laughs> so let's head this way. We got the living areas this side and the kitchen this side. You know what this looks like? It reminds me of the set of that 70s show. Exactly. <laughs> With a right. little breakfast nook here. Mm, looky, looky, looky. Ribs, cornbread, and baked beans. Come to Papa. <laughs> and what makes it so reminiscent of that time mm. is the colors. So it's the brown, like you mentioned, the mustard. Yeah. You know. And then if you see here, they've got little paintings along the whole. Scattered around. Yeah. yeah and this boarded look on the towel. Also old for mica tops. Yeah. Um, oh, this cupboard's coming off. Coming off. <laughs> yeah. I'm not surprised. Old cupboard door design. Ooh, it's full of snacks. Jeez. Fully stocked pantry. And pasta for you. It's not only non-perishables, it's stuff that we need to remove here. Could attract rats. Yes, no, please. Let's sort that out. <laughs> and then here we've got the scullery. It's really nice. Nice big scullery, nice to have main sink section space for all the appliances hidden away. Always great to have a big walk-in pantry. We'll never run out of space. 
Let's head out the back door and look here again. You can see these car radio lines yeah. and there's two here. And I think I know how they wired this. This was probably wired to the edge of the frame. And then if someone opened the door, it would break the wire and trigger. Oh, and they could Annoying car alarms on. Yeah. They were very paranoid. We could see this rough textured plaster quite nicely from here. And yeah. you know, these days it's about smooth, clean look. So do you know what that means? You're gonna have to do the whole house. You're gonna have to replaster the whole exterior of the house. Are you ready? I don't know. <laughs> and then over here, we've got a storeroom. So this is quite nice. Nice and big. You can never have too much storage. Heading up this side, there's extra accommodation here and there's two full rooms here. And a bathroom, which is quite handy. This is really nice for staff accommodation, but there's plenty other options as well. Yeah, with our big families, we can shove some of them in here. <laughs> extra guest rooms. Yeah. But it's not in a good state at all. Oof, yeah. That wall. The wall. We've got some more toys and items here, mm -hmm. even here it is. Very interesting. <laughs> Should we head out? So even though the kitchen is closed off, it's in the perfect position to go open plan because the living areas are behind that side. And we've always dreamed of an open plan kitchen. Exactly. So let's head back through to the entrance hall. So we've got our bearings and then we can head into the living areas. I actually never noticed this before, but look at the ceiling here. And there's other parts in the house with this and even worse. So this is the lounge and I really love it. I think it's so nice and spacious. It is. And it's got a beautiful fireplace. It's one of the things that I loved when we first saw the house. But I don't know, what, what do you think, babe? So I'm in two minds about it. I think one thing is the size. It's unnecessarily big, I think. And I don't know if it's the nice kind of retro, but we'll see. I've also spotted that it's a smallish opening. Mm -hmm. So... We can leave it open for discussion. Okay, deal. <laughs> Yeah, and then there's a lot of stains on the carpet, so... No, the carpets need to be ripped up. Yeah. Like, I want to rip it up right now, actually. <laughs> <laughs> um, the shelf is great, and you know, if we knock through here, we're going to have to get rid of this, but I'd love to repurpose this for maybe a shelf in the study. Yeah. I mean, it's beautiful wood. It's got an integrated booze cabinet as well. Look here, Tia Maria. <laughs> That's brilliant. It's meant to be, babe. It's a sign. Can you Definitely believe that? That's incredible. But can you visualize the space open? Because yeah. I can already see this wall knocked down, kitchen island, this wall knocked down, and these rooms all being open plan, leading out onto the patio. I think it's absolute perfection. Yeah, I love the idea of an open plan area. So should we head to the next? Room? After you. So I definitely envision the dining room over here. I think it's perfect because you've got the kitchen over there, so you just bring the food in. I think it might be better to have the dining that side because it'll be in front of the kitchen island. <laughs> okay, I think we'll have to discuss this. We've got lots of time to discuss these things, the layout. Um, but I mean, you agree with me here to have stacking doors leading outside to the patio? Definitely, and it'll just create an open plan into the entertainment area. So it'll be great. Cool. So there's another living area this side, believe it or not. Okay. I mean, can you smell that? It's quite, quite hot. Well, it's the carpets. Just imagine how much filth and dirt has built up. I mean, that's why people don't put carpets yeah, in anymore. Definitely. But yeah, I envision this wall to be knocked down. Okay. So that we can have a built-in bar. And it makes sense to make this one room, you know? Yeah, and then that would also again lead to the entertainment area, so... Yeah, doors leading out this side. Perfect. Okay, so here we've got two different <laughs> shades of carpets. Now this... Doesn't this remind you of an old-fashioned carpet? And that brown color again, no. And it's got that okay. like, sort of... Textured pattern. Yeah, thicker pattern. <laughs> and then what's this here? So, do you know that the family told me that their dad used to be a gunsmith? Oh. So basically he would have his reloading equipment here, he used to shoot pistols. Okay, don't get any ideas. Of course. <laughs> I love the ceiling. Yeah, I like it. I think in white though. Maybe, yeah. Ideas at this stage. Let's Lots see. to still plan. Let's, Let's head back out. Oh, hey, did you see the treadmill? You see, this is some of the other stuff they just left here. Some books. The days of our lives. So are the days of our lives. <laughs> <laughs> did you see this alarm passive here? Did. Look at the position it's in. Wrong right. position. <laughs> sure. 
you see this crack here? It's quite a serious one. It is, and this is one of a few cracks in the house that we need to fix. But you've done lots of these before. I have dealt with this before, okay. thank goodness. Great. So let's head outside, and it's a bit of an interesting locking mechanism, yeah? It looks quite effective though. It's very secure. <laughs> so this is an entertainer's paradise, heading out onto this patio and you know flowing from these living areas facing the luscious garden yeah it's really really nice and spacious i mean the color combination though is a bit um, worse for wear some mustardy yellow tiles and then the rose pink wall it's terrible it's like vomit pink actually <laughs> and vomit mustard <laughs> but i also had a vision of maybe putting some grass here that you would come out the bedrooms into the grass but we can get to that. It's a really a good later. idea just to have a bit more green yeah. and this side to be newly tiled. And um, this patio structure over here, I'd love to do a new one covering both of these living rooms. So um, that you like join the entertainment flow. Yeah, with both of the stacking doors leading out, something nice and modern. And you had another great idea with the edge here. Yeah, so I thought of maybe like straightening this, putting a balustrade and then leveling the slope so that you can actually have a garden a quite a spacious garden i think it'll be quite nice it's a really good idea to have actual usable lawn space mm -hmm. instead of the slope which isn't really usable so really great idea you see the condition of this pool yeah it's like those olden day kidney shaped pools <laughs> sort of but as those clumps of algae yeah. it's interesting you don't see that often eh there's so much lawn space and this tree is so beautiful yeah. it's just giving a lot of shade and it is massive look at the roots you see this is another example of what happens with roots yeah right up against the paving and they keep pushing up so do you get rid of this tree i'm not sure the thing is if we do remove it we'll plant the correct tree here and up against the boundary walls with smaller root systems but um, we'll see so give you a sense of how big this bush is and it takes up a lot of the space so with this gone you've got so much lawn space this side yeah and seeing as the main room is up there you would love to have a really nice area to look into exactly a nice landscape garden 100 percent looks like there's avo yeah this is an avo tree you know the rule if the fruit falls on your side of the property it's yours yes to keep definitely so this boundary wall it would be nice to increase the height of this a bit and the problem here is a lot of the neighbors' trees are overgrown and too close to the wall and they're pushing the wall. Um, so some of them need to be removed so we can reset the wall back into position. So below the main room, we've got a bit of an entertainment area, which we'll go through now. This is quite messy. Yeah, very messy. Do you want some of the stuff before? I throw it all out. Yeah, I can have that lawn mower thing. Is that what you want? Mm. Okay. <laughs> Jacuzzi? Yeah. I wonder if it still runs. There's a motor outside there. Yeah. So we you should test, test it. it. Okay, <laughs> we will. We should. But I had a great idea for this room. Um, I want to do a bit of a dance studio. So we'll put mirrors all around, wooden flooring, and like a nice bar. That's a good idea. I was yeah. going to say, it's simple to do because like you said, it's just flooring, mirrors, I think doors leading out, but it could be kind of a gym as well, maybe? A wellness center. Wellness center. Mm -hmm. And I think we have our first... This is a, you know what this is? One of those old fashioned exercise things where it goes on your abs yeah, and works the muscles. <laughs> Perfect. Yeah, oh, it's messy. Eh? Look at mm. all of this stuff. VHS tapes. There might random. be some treasures in here. No, I don't think so. <laughs> so this leads back up to the patio from the dancing slash gym room. <laughs> Wellness center. So interestingly here, this section from here all the way there, that whole wing was built on. It was an addition. So the original house actually stopped here. This was added on as well as that bar entertainment room that side. I picture black aluminium window frames throughout because it's just the best. Nice and think? classy. I like it. Otherwise solidly built structure. The roof tiles are in good condition so I think we can keep those. And let's head back inside to finish the tour. 
hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss any episodes in this series. So this is the first north facing room and I think this will be great as a study or reading room. Definitely. And I quite like the parquet flooring. I think it will go with the whole reading room. It is a subjective thing. These look a little bit damaged. So it might be too far gone there. I did spot termites here. Okay. Could be termites. So we've got to get uh, experts in. <laughs> we've got to get um, professional pest controllers in because this is also an indicator of moisture, potentially, and they'll just eat through the timber. Yeah. Something and to look at. The other thing I noticed about this room is it's cute. So I noticed that as well, and it's obviously how that wing joins to this wing. What we can do is when we build a, a shelf here, we can build it in such a way that it kind of runs at an angle, but making the room square. So Good that idea. Can sort out. Let's head down the passage. It's quite a nice blue color to contrast the brown that we've been seeing. I wouldn't call it nice though. <laughs> this is the second north facing room and this would be perfect for a study. Definitely. And I think it goes perfect with that idea we had about opening this up into the lawn. So putting this as a door to go out. Definitely, I agree. You see this, so this is actually a design feature back in the day, cork on the walls. It's coming back into fashion in a more tasteful way, I would say. Interesting. Interesting, eh? The first thing we've noticed is this bubbling wall over here. So I see this a lot on unmaintained homes and basically the shower's on the other side. So it's moisture that's seeping through. Hasn't been maintained, it's not sealed properly. But can you fix it? <laughs> what do you think? Of course. <laughs> and then here we've got the linen room, which is quite nice and spacious and very really good to have. Over here, we've got a hypnotizing floor. <laughs> yeah, it's interesting. Yeah. Fascinating design. I mean, it's not offensive, but... Um, no, very, I think it is. <laughs> very dated. As well. And these flowers from the wall. It's the same theme running through from the kitchen tiles with that border. I see that we've got ceiling damage here again. Yeah, and this could be because of a leak or a burst geyser. Let's head into the third north facing room and this frame is actually called the fan light frame. Yeah, I know this. My parents have this at their house. We actually do pull-ups on it. Show me. <laughs> Another one. <laughs> okay. <laughs> We're not keeping this though. <laughs> This is the third north facing bedroom and it will be a study initially for us. Feature cork walls. And then again, we'll open this up to go out. Definitely. So this is the first full bathroom and we've got the same towel again. It's actually a bit of a psychedelic look. Yeah, that's the yeah. word I actually was thinking of. Yeah, um, and the walls, the tiles, my grand would love that. Yeah, it's the same as the other bathroom. But look at that trap door. That's quite... Not in the right place. No, it's not. <laughs> On top of the shower, it's a bit a weird. A little bit scary, actually. And this explains that damp, you know, on the wall, the other side. It just hasn't been sealed and the water's seeping through there. Um, but did you notice there's no toilet in here? Oh, because so of the guest loo that was there. We'll add a toilet in here, definitely. Okay. So here we've got another bathroom. So at least this one's not as colourful. <laughs> So this bathroom also has a bidet and overall it is quite small so I think a shower makes sense in this bathroom. Definitely. On with the tour. <laughs> so there's a whole nother wing down this side just when you thought the house ended which is great because it's a lot of space. Yeah we'll never run out of any space. Yeah and it's not too big that we'll get lost in our own home which is nice as well. Yeah. You can see on top of this door frame leading to the bathroom it a serious crack because there's no lintel here. Something that needs to be fixed. Let's head into the uh, next bedroom. So this is a guest room. It's actually one of the biggest rooms. And the parquet is in the best condition in this room. Definitely. And you know, this was originally the main bedroom. And then here we've got a dressing room, which makes sense it would be the main room. And then here, if the bathroom's on this side, we could possibly knock this over, but would it work? Very clever to knock through a mm. door here. I think you should join the Flipping Johannesburg team <laughs> no. permanently. No, it's a really good idea. Thanks. <laughs> en suite guest room. Beautiful. Oh, that smell is yeah. quite potent. It's pungent. You notice it as you enter the room. Mm. But um, the family said that there was a cat 
in this room previously. So it could explain the smile. Yeah. Well, we, we were calling this the baby room, but now I'm not so sure. <laughs> <laughs> um, but very important to note here is the crack. So it's running here. Yeah, this floor is uneven. So the crack runs along this floor and heading out here. See where this boarding is? Yeah, there's a crack as well. And they just covered the crack. With That's the pretty clever. I don't think so. It doesn't, <laughs> doesn't fix the problem. Um, and I see this china. My mom would love that. Yeah, definitely. So where these cracks are is where they extended on. Where the house joins this wall, this extension piece, is where the cracks formed. On to the main bedroom. So as we enter the main bedroom, we've got this dressing section, which is quite spacious. Yeah, it's nice and big but we'll definitely need more cupboard space. Because of the amount of clothes you've got. Yeah, be careful. <laughs> Into the bathroom. More shades of brown. <laughs> Patterns. Yeah, and it is a bit small. It's the only negative I can point out in this house. We need to maybe increase the size of this because we need a shower and bath. Mm. And now let's talk about the ceiling damage. So it was on hand over day. The agents and us discovered this for the first time and it was a bit of panic because there was water all over the floor and a pipe was leaking there and um, the weight of the water just caused the ceiling to cave in. But um, you were actually chilled. I thought you were going to be in a bit more shock. Well, honest. I think because we're stripping the whole house, I was okay with it. And I'm sure my previous projects have desensitized you a bit to this sort of thing as well. Definitely Project H. <laughs> Let's head into the bedroom, which is a big standout for both of us. We're raised here on the first floor, so much light streams in, and this is the northern side of the home. And it's really nice and spacious, and that was actually the selling point for us, because when we had seen all the houses, the main room was always on the wrong side. It was too dark or too small, so when we saw this house, we knew it was the one. Absolutely. And I still can't believe that this is our own place that we can renovate together. I'm so used to flipping and moving on, but this is our own and um, it's very exciting. Yeah, I'm really excited to be doing this with you. Me too. Let's do it. Cause I'll be spending all the seasons loving you. I'll be spending all the seasons, yeah, spending all the seasons loving you. We're getting started with building a wall here where this palisade fencing is. And we're teaming up with builders with this card, which gets me all of these materials and some of this back in my pocket. How lack is that? Spend 50,000 Rand or more and start earning cash back, plus many other benefits. And with a project like this, I need all the savings I can get. So if you've started flipping or you're planning a home renovation, it's time to go pro with Builders Pro. This was episode one of a series. Make sure your notifications are on for episode two, where we get our hands dirty with demolition, build work, and more. And we officially start our dream home renovation. Stay tuned. We're stripping the whole house.